What's going on, you gamers? Finally, finally, we have some news on Gotham Knights Heroic Assault. Well, kind of news anyway. So, what do we know? Let's dive in. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're jumping into a bit of Gotham Knights, and we finally have all be it a little bit of a small piece of news, we do have some news from the makers of the game Warner Brothers Montreal. So up until today this mode has had absolutely zero coverage. It's one of the best kept secrets I've seen for a long time. Had the gaming community scratching their heads like they were trying to work out how the pyramids were made. Up until recently I must admit I was 50-50 on whether or not I thought the game mode would actually launch on time. There have been zero official announcements on any of its social media and a lot of game and gaming projects were being delayed, so I thought this might fall into that category. In fact, ever since the game's release, the whole 4 player mode had completely fell silent. But now it's official, coming tomorrow on the 29th as they stated, we've learnt that this game mode will be dropping. And we've learnt this, that's right, through a single picture. Man, these guys really do not like to give much away. But in all honesty, I'm just glad that it's actually going to be coming out. They've given us no real hard info, but at the same time there is a few things that we can see from this. So by donning our detective caps, much like Batman, let's look into what we do know. Now even before the announcement, we did know that Heroic Assault is going to be a standalone mode separate from the campaign itself. In whereby you and up to three other players, so four players in total, take on a bunch of enemies and complete objectives in order to make your way through 30 floors of baddie goodness. Now if we do take a little look at the picture they've posted, we have, albeit not perfect, but we do have some news to go on. Firstly, the game mode releases tomorrow on November 29th and it's going to be at 8am pacific time. Also, we now know that the biggest bad guy behind it all is going to be none other than Starro. There were a few people that were suspecting this as I think some things were data mined, but nothing had been official up until now. Also, when I first looked at it, I thought that he was trapped in that tank at the back and maybe it was a bit of a ruse and in fact there may be a bigger baddie even behind him. However, if we look at some of the enemies, you can see right here, if I zoom in on this guy's face, that they are of course being controlled by him, as all of the enemies are pretty much face hugged up. Starro is in fact the perfect villain for a game mode like this, as he can clone himself and, like you saw, can attach the clones to any humanoid's face, and pretty much take control of the host. So now, from this, they can chuck in as many enemy types as they want, all in the same building, and they can make them work together if they want. Now again, looking at Starro, if you didn't know anything about him, he would definitely not seem like the most menacing enemy, but he is actually quite a powerful threat. Boasting energy absorption and projection, flight, regeneration and telepathy, as well as a lot more to do with psychic powers, this guy is really no joke. Ultimately, he's definitely a big old menace for the knights to take on. We can also see that there's going to be a whole bunch of talons in this mode, as well as probably all the other enemies, but if there's going to be a lot of talons, then bringing your crow gear would definitely be essential, as they're weak to that, so that would definitely help to take them out. Now, a few people have also claimed that they think this person right up here, if I zoom in, is going to be Catwoman. I've got to admit, I think that this one's probably a bit of a stretch, and it's probably just a talon lurking in the shadows that you can't really see much of, but I have been wrong before, so let me know in the comments what you think. Lastly, I would love to say that your character is going to carry everything across, all of their hard earned equipment and their level, and let you know that you can have more than one of the same character, so for example two Batgirls, but ultimately they are still keeping very hush hush on all of the finer details. So until it's released tomorrow, we're just going to have to wait and see. I honestly have a feeling because it's completely separate, we may have to start a character again, but it will be completely down to their discretion, whether or not your character gets to come across, or if you've got to start from scratch. So even though we don't really have much to go on, at least we finally know it's going to be releasing, and we're going to have something different to do, and have up to four players doing it. For me, it's been quite a while since I've played a four-player co-op game, all of them seem to be free and under nowadays, so this really interests me, and I'm crossing pretty much my fingers, arms, legs, and whatever else I can, that this is going to be good. Let me know in the comments, are you looking forward to this, or have you moved on from Gotham Knights? But as always, full things gaming, full things Xbox. Take care, I'll see you on next time.